the deputy president dr william samoy arapruto who is one of the front runners in the upcoming general election has finally settled on professor kituri kindiki as his preferred choice of running mate basically according to credible sources professor kituri kindiki is going to be william ruto's running mate in the august election and one question which most kenyans are asking is whether ruto kindiki ticket can actually deliver the presidency because initially many people believed <coughs> that william ruto was going to settle on uh, on uh, rigathi gashagwa because rigathi gashagwa has deep pockets rigathi gashagwa is uh, likable the kikuyu nation love that man he's eloquent and rigathi gashagwa is fearless but william ruto has now dumped rigathi gashagwa who was actually advised to go and defend his seat in madera and when the dp was advising to him to go and defend his seat professor kituri kindiki was being prevailed prevailed upon by the dp not to defend his seat in my view that was the signal that the deputy president had finally settled on professor kituri kindiki but can that ticket deliver the presidency that's going to be one of my content in uh, on saturday or on friday but for now i want us to look at why william ruto finally settled on professor kituri kindiki and not rigathi gashagwa or or musalem davadi because musalem davadi joined kenya kwanza his supporters believed that he was going to be made the running mate in fact his close allies have been making that particular demand but william ruto has now fa has finally settled on professor kituri kindiki why professor kituri kindiki number one, there is this fear of betrayal tag that's something which william ruto is running away from you know in 2013 president uru kenyatta promised to make ruto the president the next president in 2022 during that time ruto also made a promise to professor kituri kindiki that he was going to be his running mate and because uru kenyatta betrayed ruto ruto would not want a situation where he is also being viewed as someone who also betrayed professor kituri kindiki and because of the fear of that betrayal tag ruto has finally settled now on uh, professor kituri kindiki number two, in my view i think the deputy president is also keen on countering any move made by railo dinga in the larger mount kenya region the truth of the matter is that railo dinga is likely to settle on martha karwa as the running mate assuming he settles on martha karwa as the running mate that would mean raila would have gone for akikuyu and because raila dinga would have gone for akikuyu ruto would go for professor kituri kindiki who is being viewed more as a meru kind of guy not as a kikuyu per se so in my view the choice of professor kituri kindiki is to counter raila dinga's move to go to the kikuyu nation Rigathi Gashagwa is actually a Kikuyu and therefore he would not have served William Ruto well so that's number two. number 3 in my view i think Rigathi Gashagwa is not acceptable across the country or maybe beyond the larger mount kenya region Rigathi Gashagwa is very popular in mount kenya the people down there love him because of the way he's been articulating the issues affecting the region but take rigathi gashagwa out of the kikuyu nation and place him in unokambani or somewhere in the coastal region and listen to him whatever he saying he will be saying to those people will not make sense the other day i saw him in uh, makwen during some funeral whatever he was saying there was not making sense but when he's with the kikuyus he's fine so i think the fact that rigathi gashagwa is not that acceptable beyond the kikuyu nation could have forced ruto 
to look for someone in the name of Professor Kitore Kendiki. So that's number three. Number four, in my view, is the politics of tribal dominance. The truth of the matter is that in this country, there's a strong feeling that the Kikuyu nation and the Kalenjin nation have led this country for now close to 60 years. That is now the time to change that. None other than President Rumuge Kenyatta himself made this declaration. And majority of Kenyans have been talking in low tones. So how will the deputy president manage to tame or to deal with the issue of tribal dominance? Simple. Get Professor Kithuri Kindiki, market him as a Meru or as a Taraka, and you'll be done. You'll, you'll easily defend him that he's not a Kikuyu. Simple. As, as much as he's coming from the larger Kenya region, he's not a Kikuyu. We've been talking of Kikuyu presidency and the Kalenjin presidency. So in my view, that tribal dominance politics might have forced William Ruto to pick Professor Kithuri Kindiki over Rigadi Gashagwa. Number five, in my view, is the politics of Mount Kenya East and Mount Kenya West. The truth of the matter, which is the truth, is that if you look at the larger Mount Kenya region, there's a feeling that they've always stood with their Kikuyu brothers. But the Kikuyu brothers have never really stood with them. So this was the time for them to test whether the Kiku nation can actually can actually support them. So now they're coming, we, are, we have the East and the West. So Ruto is now going to the East. Still mountain, but to the East. And he's now using that to appease the, the East. Why? Because Relu, Relu Ding and President Ruki Nyata are settling, settling on the west. Mother Karwa. So which means Ruto will be trying to consolidate the voting block in Meru, the voting block, block in Taraka Nidhi, the voting block in, in uh, Embu, and I think those neighboring countries like Isiolo. So that after consolidating those votes, then he can now go and live, compete with Uhuru Kenyatta. Of course, he's side of Uhuru Kenyatta, but he can compete with him now in the larger Mount Kenya West. To an extent that now, assuming we are going to have, um, assuming Uhuru is going to deliver 30% to Red Odinga, then Ruto will be comfortable. And number six in my view is the fact that Musalim Davadi and his brigades are actually opposed to Rigadi Gashagwa in anything. That day, Rigadi Gashagwa uttered the statement that for them as UDA, they had settled on a running mate and Mdavadi will do nothing and there's nothing he can do. Mselem Mdavadi and his team were never happy. So they, I'm told they tried to put some conditions on the DP, which the DP actually declined. So I tend to think that because Musalim Ravadi is not comfortable with Rigadi Gashagwa, Ruto is also now not comfortable embracing him as his running mate. Because Musalim Ravadi and his team are threatening that if that person is going to be Rigadi, then they'd rather leave the coalition. So William Ruto is sacrificing one of his close allies because of Musalia Mudavadi. And lastly, I can talk of credibility to the ticket. Now, if you look at Rigadi Gashagwa, you put Rigadi Gashagwa here. On the other side, on the other scale, you put uh, Professor Kithuri Kindiki, who is more credible. You will easily pick. Anybody would easily go and pick Professor Kithuri Kindiki as the most credible. Rigadi Gashagwa would be picked as someone who is not credible, whose credibility is on question. So because of the credibility, remember the, this, the issue that William Ruto is working with people who are not really credible. You can talk of Lord Bosco, you can talk of several others. The other day I was seeing a, a gentleman who was being exposed by a, by a, a home book, how this guy has called the people and is operating from William Ruto's office. So Ruto would want a, a situation where 
the ticket now appears to be credible so that people beyond the UDA support base, those who are undecided, can now be persuaded to support his cause. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Tomorrow, I'll be, not tomorrow, today, because I'm doing this video at night. I'm posting it in the morning. Later on, I'll be in Nairobi. So maybe we'll be able to, to meet those who will be available. Those who will not be available, it's still okay. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.